Hey guys, what's up? We're going to be doing a um, little art restoration type video today. My mom had, uh, she had a couple of things like this. She had some ladybugs and some butterflies that uh, she asked me to kind of fix up for her. She got from a friend. So um, I'm going to start with the ladybugs. Obviously, I have a cute little theme I think will work. And uh, first, we got to clean these babies up. They're still a little bit dirty. So uh, I'm going to get these cleaned up and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, now that I've got these washed, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the big one. Set these aside. Take a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna start with the red. You know, I thought I wasn't going to have to, but I think I'm gonna have to paint these white first. Otherwise, I'll be putting coat after coat after coat of the colors I actually want on here. So, let's do that instead. Yeah, this is. Okay, now that we got the white, I'm just gonna start covering the whole thing. I don't really care if it mixes with this red too much. And this is just to pretty much give it a blank canvas, bring those colors that I choose um, to a brighter, like, it'll look a lot brighter. You'll be able to see them a lot better painting it white rather than trying to paint over these colors. I thought I could get away with it, but no, I should have known. Should have known better than that. I'll most likely put two coats of the white just to make it a nice even coat of white because it's obviously going to be a little pinkish right now. worry about painting these um, white only because I'm most likely going to be painting them black so I waste my time I right, let's let that dry all right so I went ahead and painted all of them white a couple good coats now we'll go ahead and try to paint them up So I'm gonna put a layer of red on here, let it dry, and then put a layer, you know, layer by layer, so you can't see the white seeping through. And I'm just gonna paint over these little circles. I'm not gonna worry about going around them, just because they're most likely gonna be black. So I'll just paint right over that red. That way I can keep my brush strokes as, uh, even as possible, going the same direction. It just looks cleaner that way. All right, while well, the red is drying on the other one, I'm gonna go ahead and start on this one. And I'm going with more of an orange red. Because each ladybug has its own unique personality and color. So, so are these ones.
And I've got to be careful because I'm pretty much making this color as I go by combining a couple of these. Yikes. <laughs> we'll let that first coat dry so we can make that look a lot better. All right, so while that one dries, we'll go ahead and get this one started here. And I'm going for more of an orange ladybug on this one. Take a little white behind it. Okay, so now we'll go in with some black. Spot some wings right here. I'm 
The trick with working with black is you always have to watch getting it on your hands. Before you know it, you get it on your finger or your hand, touch a spot that's not black, and it just kind of ruins your mood. <laughs> so always pay attention to where you're sticking your hands. I still have that problem sometimes. On to the next one. This little guy. And to avoid, like I was saying earlier, getting the black on your hands, touching other stuff, it's best to start with the ones farthest away from you and work your way this way with whichever is your dominant hand. If you're right-handed, you work your way this way. Left-handed, work your way this way. It'll help prevent you from touching anything wet and smearing it on anything else you don't want that color on. All right, there we go let those kind of dry and then I will give it another coat of the black then we'll have add the uh, <laughs> add the highlights and then um, I believe I'm gonna spray it clear instead of using a brush just because I want a nice you know even I don't want any type of brush strokes showing and I don't want to take the risk of it drying before the brush strokes have a chance to vanish. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a, just a regular can of clear coat. And uh, once we get all the details stuff I want on here, we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so now that they are dry, double coated, everything, we're going to paint their little eyes. touch-ups that need to be done. Let's go ahead and lighten that up a little bit. And a lighter blue for the little one. I don't like this. Starting over. Too cartoony. 
All right, we're gonna try something a little different. I don't really wanna go cartoony. This is a kind of sparkly, silvery color. Cause you know, bug eyes are kinda sparkly, colorful looking things. It's probably gonna take a couple layers. And then I'm also going to try to use this for a little bit of sparkly highlight here and there. I had some white on this one. I know you guys saw that earlier, but I didn't really like that. I just wanted like a, like a hint, almost like real. So, you know, when the light will hit it, it'll have a shine. But I didn't want it to be white and cartoony. And all you'll be left with is the sparkles. I'm only gonna do one layer on that so it doesn't come through too white-ish looking like I'm trying to get the eyes to do. All right, let's throw some highlights on this one. All right, so while I was adding the shine, my camera died, but uh, we got these two done as well. I bumped the camera, sorry. Pretty nice. So now I'm just going to add the white dots. To the eyes, sorry. Got in the zone there. Let's get this one. I also added some shine to the little antennas, so. So, now that we've got these guys pretty much done, I'm gonna take them outside and give them a good coat of clear coat. So let's go get that done. All right, now we're gonna clear coat these. A coat or two. Watch out, meow. Watch out. All right, guys, here they are, all done, all dry. Uh, sorry about the neighbors doing their yard work. They've been doing that all day. I don't think they're gonna let up anytime soon. Um, but yeah, I hope you like the colors I chose. Thought it'd be a little bit better than uh, just, you know, red all the way across. Give them each their own little unique personality and look. Um, here they are in the sun. Gives it a cool kind of like a glossy shimmery color or look to it, I should say. I have to say, I really do like the eyes like this uh, way better than how I was gonna do it. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I was thinking before. But um, anyway, if you guys like what you see and you enjoyed watching me transform these little cuties, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments. And uh, make sure to subscribe. That really helps the channel a lot. So um, I should be... Uh, 
Getting started on some little butterflies I have that are kind of like this. Same type of same type of thing, little wall ornament things, but uh, they need a good makeover themselves. So um, I'll see you in that video. Bye.